you guys welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here for the first time then hello welcome in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you some DIY projects that I have done here around my house in the past week or so I'm also going to show you some more decor that I have put up for fall time and I also have a really exciting package that I got in the mail that I want to share with you I have unfortunately been really behind on my YouTube content and I want to apologize again for that. I have been busy in every other aspect of my life and unfortunately when that happens I put YouTube and social media in general on the back burner. But I've really enjoyed taking a step back and just doing things in my life that is more important right now. I have had a lot going on, nothing too crazy to report to you guys, but just super busy with a ton of other things, with work, family, all of that stuff. So like I said, I apologize. I am hoping to get back on my grind and get two videos up per week at some point, but I'm not going to promise that to you guys just because life and all of that good stuff comes before YouTube. As much as I love creating content for you guys, I definitely don't want to get to a point where I feel like I can't live my life or do things that I wanna do just because of YouTube. So if you ever do see a time where I'm not creating as much content, that is why. I'm really excited to share with you these projects that I did. I will try to leave everything that I used linked down below or at least listed down below if you are interested. I actually got rid of my hutch, which I did mention over on my Instagram page, and you would have seen this project already if you were following me over there. So please make sure to do so if you are not already. I'm doing monthly giveaways as well for the rest of the year, so you definitely don't wanna miss out on that. Cannot believe that we already are in October. It absolutely blows my mind. Before we know it, I will be putting up Christmas decorate with me, which absolutely blows my mind. Christmas is one of my favorite times of year to decorate. I go all out. I love the Christmas tree, so that will be fun. I love filming those for you every single year, but I'm going to go ahead and stop rambling so that this intro is not too long. If you guys are interested in seeing the DIY projects that I've been up to and some more fall home decor, just go ahead and keep on watching. The first thing that I wanted to share with you guys is this garland that I got from Amazon. This is such a great deal if you are looking for some fall garland. We actually get two of them per package. So I did get two packages, so a total of four. These do retail for $19.99 for two of them, which is so crazy. It's a great deal. So if you guys are looking for a good quality fall garland, this is definitely it. I am thinking about doing a giveaway with this one, so let me know if you guys are interested in that, and I will post some details down below or over on my Instagram page. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring you on over to my living room area, which I actually just finished cleaning. The pups are quite tired <laughs> this afternoon, but this is what the garland looks like. I absolutely love the way that it looks. I used to have a more neutral toned garland for fall time, but I really like this one. I think it ties in with more of the oranges and yellows that I incorporated into my decor this year. I love the quality of it as well, and the length is perfect for putting across a mantle or like I did across a TV stand. I just use some command hooks to hang it up. That's what I keep there year round to change out my garland. I love having this plain on the TV, especially when I'm cleaning around the house. It makes me feel all of the fall vibes. All you have to do is just type in fall background on YouTube and you will find this. It does have music to it if you are interested in that, but obviously I muted it for the video. Like I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I will be getting rid of these shelves to the left and right of my TV. I will be making some DIY shelves this coming weekend, so I will try to film some of that over on my Instagram for you guys. We'll have to let me know if you like this garland more, if you like my old garland. I will link my decorate with me down below so you can see what my other garland looks like. 
you can kind of see how it just ties in with my living room a bit more. I have a lot of the burnt orange and yellow tones, so I think this one definitely goes a little bit better than my other one did. So now getting on to my first DIY project that I did. So I got rid of my hutch that was right below this and I put up some DIY wooden shelves. So everything to make the shelves I bought from Home Depot. I will try to link the items that I used or at least list them down below. I believe this was about $60 to make these shelves. All I did was get the wooden boards cut to the size that I needed. I pretty much just measured the wall and figured out how long I wanted the wooden boards. And I just went and had them cut and then I came home and stained it. I have used this stain for a lot of my previous projects so I did already have that. This is decorated for Halloween, so if you did miss my decorate with me, I will leave that link down below. All of this decor was actually in my hutch, so it does look a little different now. I just love this so much more. You can see everything displayed. I love decorating for Halloween time, so this will be a great little spot to decorate for for the holidays and different seasons. I would love to know if you guys like this setup more or if you liked my hutch. It also just gives more space in the kitchen area as well. I'm very happy with how it turned out and it definitely was not a hard project. It was actually super easy and inexpensive. The other project that I wanted to share with you guys is this dresser that I actually painted. I got this for $40 on Facebook Marketplace and all I did was take some chalk paint to it and then I went ahead and put some spray paint on the hardware and I absolutely love the way that it turned out. I used to have a white entryway table here but I needed another dresser in my bedroom so this is going to be perfect for the space. I love the way that it looks with the shutters and window pane as well. So on the top of it here, I just put one of my candles from our Back Porch Candle Company, which you guys know I absolutely love. This one is hands down my favorite for fall time. I do have a discount code with them if you are interested. I have mentioned them in so many of my previous videos. These are my favorite candles. So if you have been looking for some new candles, I will leave their website and my discount code linked down below. And then I just have this stand with one of my Ray Dunn birdhouses. This is the Chirp Birdhouse, but I have it turned around because I am not about all of the sayings on everything. And then over here, I just have a vase that I got from Target, which I was actually looking at the bottom of this. And this vase was $5, which just blows my mind. That is a lot of money for that tiny little vase. And then I actually got this picture frame recently as well from Francesca's. It just says, let's stay home. And I thought that it looked really nice on my dresser. So that is the second DIY project that I did. I am so stinking happy with the way that it turned out and I would love to hear your opinions on it down below. I also got this package in the mail from Infuse. I am so stinking excited to tell you guys about this company. I had actually never heard of it before they reached out. They are a non-toxic cleaning supply brand. I got a ton of goodies from them, which I've actually already tried one of their products and I'm in love. So to start out down here, I got three of their cleaning cloths. So this one is for glass and window. I also got an all-purpose cloth. I am constantly wiping down my countertops. And then I also got a bathroom microwave fiber cloth to clean around the sink handles and faucets. This can also be used on the countertops as well. I'm definitely happy to have some more cloths. I feel like with cleaning, you can never have too many. So this is the glass and window cleaner. These are really simple and easy to use. So they have a fill line, as you can see right there. So you're gonna fill this up to the fill line with water. And then you can see this cartridge right here just gets fed on to the line and you twist the top onto the bottle. And when you twist it on, it actually releases into the water. And what is nice is you can reuse these bottles and then just get new cartridges 
cartridges. So as you can see, I got an all-purpose cleaner that you can go ahead and put into one of these bottles when you do finish whatever is inside of it. This one is the lemon scent, which I am very excited about for the kitchen area. Then I also got the bathroom spray bottle as well. So it came with the cartridge right there. And this is the eucalyptus mint. I'm always wanting to find products that are non-toxic, especially with owning pets. I do not want to harm my fur babies. So this is a great alternative. They did also send over their cleaning caddy which I think I am most excited about because I have been wanting a new cleaning caddy. So all of their products fit really well in here. I love the colors as well. You know I love white and gray. And then the last thing that they sent over is this mop. This is in the scent Meyer Lemon. Again, the same scent of the all-purpose cleaner. This is good for any type of surface. I do have laminate and this did say that it was safe to use on laminate. They do also have a hardwood cleaning mop as well. They have a bunch of different options. So I will go ahead and leave a link to to their website in the description box down below for you guys. I absolutely love their products so far and I think a lot of you guys would love them as well. You can purchase them at Target as well if you want to buy the cartridges. So if you guys have been looking for a new cleaning brand that is non-toxic, make sure to check the links in the description box down below. I will link everything that they sent me down there. If you have tried out this brand, let me know as well because I'm curious what you you guys think of it. So that is going to complete this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel down below. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. I am doing monthly giveaways for the rest of the year and I also am a lot more active over there on my stories and I do post more often than I do here on YouTube. So if you would like to see things first, definitely head on over there to follow me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye, stay marvelous.